This is John and Tutu One Two is the best and two. I've got another visual basic tutorial. This is number two. And this time will be a kind of advanced HTML editor. So yeah, let's get started. So we're just gonna open a new project. And you can name it whatever you want, so make sure it's a visual basic Windows form application. So I'll just name a HTML editor for YouTube tutorial. And now that's loaded up, we're going to save it first. So, yeah. So you're going to click the form, change the text to whatever you like. I'll just do HTML editor. YouTube. And now you're going to scroll up and find maximize box and make that bold so you can't maximize it. Oh wait, not mi minimize, maximize. Oops. There. Now we can go ahead and change the form border style to fix 3D. Now what you want to do is you're going to have uh, a tab control. So I'm just going to find the tab control and put it down there. Make it so that it fits. So click this arrow and add a tab if you if you want an about box. So I feel like about this app or whatever and now that it's fitted in like that go ahead and go back to that page one and we're going to name that as edit code so text be sure to put three spaces before it to make it look better but if you don't want to then whatever and then three spaces after if you like it and the second page will be called web page preview three spaces and the third page will be about if you want it if you don't want to do you can go ahead and remove that so click the tab There. Now you can change the color of this tab to whatever you like. I think that for this I would like a kind of a light, that kind of color for this. And for the first tab, we should have uh, one rich text box and two buttons. So I'll just add a rich text box the reason it's rich so you can like copy and whatever so make that fit in now we're going to add two buttons so Now the first button is going to read update web page preview. And the second one should read um ready. What next? So 
you don't have to have that button, but I think it's nice if you're going to, like, make other users download it or whatever. Now, the second tab should have a web browser. So, yeah. And the third page should have a label if you want the about box. So, you can add whatever insert app info whatever oops what the okay now that we've done that let's start wait we have to first add another form it's a new item windows form and we'll just name that full2.vb and we're gonna add a label there you don't have to do this if you don't want, but whatever. And it should read something like this. Whatever. If you don't want to do the I'm ready to publish whatever blah 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 this button then you don't have to do that. So now for the first button you're going to do web browser one dot document text equals rich text one box one dot text. Now what this means is like the document text which is like the coding should be rich box the rich text box one's text. So the web browser should do that. And the second button should read form two dot show because yeah you know, we'll show that and we got to rename that as form um not form two um publish or whatever you like. So now let's go ahead and debug this. Now, if you don't know HTML, I don't know why you're watching this, but I'll just go ahead and copy this quick document that I made. And I'll go ahead and update the web page preview. Right there, it has, that's right, this is a HTML test file, hello world. Now if we click this, it says you're ready to publish, good job. Now just copy the contents, go to the plain text editor, edit your notepad, um, paste it, then save it. So if we go ahead and copy all this, open notepad, and save as, blah, blah, dot html or whatever and we go to the desktop save that and once we go to the desktop see this blah blah that opens a google chrome or whatever you're and as you can see here it's exactly the same as this web so thanks for watching be sure to like this video subscribe here's the question of the day do you think Visual Basic or HTML coding is easier? Thanks for watching.